Hey guys and welcome to a brand new lesson, I hope you've all been well. And today I want to show you a really cool linear groove that's based upon triplets and has a bit of a half-time shuffle feel. So when I say linear, it really means just one part of the kit at any one moment in time. And because we're using triplets, we're going to be having a one under, two under, three under, four under type feel. And the half-time shuffle element puts the snare drum, uh, the snare drum's main downbeat on beat three instead of two and four, a bit like this. One under, two under, three under, four under, one under, two under, three under, four under. So you get a really nice half-time feel. So other than that, this idea is a two-bar phrase, which I'm going to break down into single-bar phrases. And each bar will contain 12 hits, which means you do 12 in bar one, 12 hits in bar two, and then when you sum both bars together, you end up with 24 hits to create a really nice 24-hit linear combo based around triplets. So I hope you got all of that. Um, but just in case you didn't, you can download the PDF in the description below and get ready to follow along. All right, so first we're going to start off with playing things a little bit slower. And I'm just going to show you what the first bar phrase looks like, okay? And of course there is sticking on the PDF in case you're wondering what order of hands I'm using. So let's check it out. Okay, next I'm going to show you at a similar tempo what bar two would sound like. So again, just make sure you've got the sticking down and you'll be absolutely fine. So check this out. Okay, next, I'm still going to keep things quite slow at the moment, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you put both bars together. So now instead of a 12-hit combo, we're lengthening it to the true 24-hit combo, okay? So again, I'll take this one nice and slowly, and just make sure you can feel the differences between bar one and bar two. So have a listen. Great, okay, so this type of groove, it does sound really, really nice when you up the tempo. So it'd be wrong of me not to show you it without a little bit of speed behind it. So here we are, we're gonna ramp it right up and listen to the whole two bar phrase, here we go. Okay, good. So in case you're wondering how to use this type of fill-in, or it's almost like a hybrid fill-in groove kind of thing going on. Um, if you want to learn how to use this, then I've always thought just playing things in context is really, really helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a simple, slightly swung groove up front. I'm going to play it for like two bars or so, uh, maybe even four bars. And then I'm going to show you what the linear groove sounds like played in contrast next to it. And it should sit quite, uh, quite nicely. Um, you're kind of comparing like for like, so it should sit really, really well. So check it out, you'll hear what I mean. Okay, great, and there's my linear triplet groove for you guys today. It's ultra fiddly, so just make sure that you do take it slow. Try not to rush ahead with this one. Just try and get the muscle memory down of uh, the interesting sticking pattern that it's using. 
Other than that, I'm sure you can orchestrate it nicely, or you could even explore where the right hand wants to go. So I was playing on the ride cymbal today, but it will work on hi-hats. I'm sure it'll work nicely around tom-toms. And of course, the left hand can also begin to explore other parts of the kit as well. But I really liked it in this context. It feels like just nice and tight, like between ride, snare and bass drum. So let me know what you think of it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I like to put out these kind of videos every so often. So do follow my social media pages so that you can get updates on when I post a new video. Anyway, guys, thank you so much and I'll see you again real soon.